Joe has been an unwavering advocate for a two-state solution, ensuring Israel's future as a Jewish and democratic state, living side by side in peace and security with a future Palestinian state. Joe has also been an honest and frank messenger to Israeli leaders, building relationships of trust with every prime minister since Golda Meir, advocating for deep and enduring U.S.-Israel cooperation, but expressing when and where we disagree, encouraging peace talks, and standing up against campaigns to delegitimize Israel on the world stage. During the Obama-Biden administration, Joe was a key advocate in securing support for life-saving technologies like the Iron Dome, David's Sling, and the Arrow 3 anti-rocket and missile defense systems. He helped shape the unprecedented 38 billion 10-year Memorandum of Understanding for Defense Assistance to Israel, signed in 2016, which was the largest such military aid package in U.S. history. Throughout his entire career, Joe Biden has been an unwavering advocate for Israel's qualitative military edge and a leader in fighting for a safe and secure Israel with the capability, if need be, to defend itself by itself. Joe just doesn't talk about values. He lives his values, fighting for an America free from hatred and full of opportunity. Look, all of us have that aunt, uncle, sibling, cousin, friend who's just going to go to the mat saying Donald Trump is good for Israel. I hear this all the time, that he's good for Jews. They'll concede he's crass or mean or a bully. Some of them might even look the other way inexplicably at the support he gets from anti-Semites. But they'll say it's all worth it because he moved the embassy to Jerusalem. Well, I reject that idea that you have to choose between a president who is good for Israel, allegedly, and a, but a president who lives by the values at the core of our faith. With Joe Biden, we get both. A man who believes in his bones that our alliance with Israel is sacred, but also will not hesitate to say that in America, we give hate no safe harbor. Really, what it comes down to is this. Joe Biden's a mensch. And we need a mensch in the White House. We need a mensch to restore the soul of this nation.